Hello everybody, this is Sirak1983 and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Okay, so before I continue on here, uh, just to mention something that we've got the uh, new Aeon, uh, Izium. Be a good idea to charge up his overdrive as you can. Like I say, it's not really mandatory that you do, but yeah, just, just to get it ready, you know. Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, you know, that kind of situation. Anyways, so yeah, I'll just keep, uh, obviously I'll keep summoning Ifrit uh, each battle to build up my uh, rapport with him, with Yuna, so there we go. And, uh, it should be pretty close to the point where you don't need to do that anymore, but, uh, yeah, it's usually a good idea anyway, just to make it stronger. Alright, so let's talk to these people here. Side by side, but now we go home together. Okay. Yeah, sounds nice. Uh, we're leaving the Crusaders, why fight? We know we can't win. Uh, after what the Albed used on Sin, I mean, it was, it looked like they were about to win, you know, it was actually shrinking his bubble, but then, yeah. And, much of a wound, I should be able to go on, but I can't. Mission fails, I can't even walk. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> and, okay, that's it. Hey, it's Shalinda. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. I'm thinking of going to Guado Salam. I have not spoken with the Guado for some time. Yeah, there you go. Safe journey. Anyway, so you go into the alcove behind Shalinda and get into a fight. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, still got the bike bugs, but uh, the Ochu. Uh, this is a regular Ochu. He's got... 7200 HP though, <laughs> uh, and this is not a boss fight, but he is still pretty annoying, so let's, uh, well, let's get this here. <laughs> nice. Alright, and as you can see, I did put Slayer on, so man. Nah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, for this, uh, what do I want to do? Ah, I should have put him to sleep, damn it. I'll get a turn anyway before the Ochu does. Uh, so you need someone with magic skills. Kamari. Uh, All right, now put him to sleep. Sweet. Now normally I would be, you know. I'd probably cast haste on Lulu and then start unleashing fear on him because it you know, takes out about 1300 damage per spell, so it's kind of useful. But let's get uh, if we go here. Ready. I guess I didn't need to put him to sleep, but uh, yeah, just uh, I guess it's just to point out that. Using sleep and fear up. Good way to go on this guy. Alright, you strength. Oh, cool, it doesn't even wake him up. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have Lulu finish this guy off. Because I want to get her the uh, Slayer Overdrive mode. Yeah, she's probably pretty close to it by now. Yeah, as far as Waka and Kamari go with their Slayer and Warrior Overdrive modes, they're pretty close, I think, too. So I'm not sure if you can actually get the Warrior mode uh, with Lulu or not using spells, but uh, I guess we'll find out. This may actually be the last time I summon the free. Just because of, uh, you know, the HP getting taken down a bit. <laughs> what am I doing? He's doing that, yeah. Okay, to heal up, just cast fire on yourself. Right, 
Yeah, I might be able to summon a creep one more time after this. Six meteor strike. But yeah, if you get to the point where you run out of MP from healing him up with fire and uh, you know your HP gets low, don't bother summoning him anymore until uh well. <laughs> I'll say it now, you run into Belgamina again, and you end up having a fight, uh, I just uh, killed him, but, uh, but yeah, you run into Belgamina again, and obviously you have to fight Izian this time, and he is insanely difficult if you do not get your affection, if you don't get Ifrit's uh, power up high enough, so yeah. Alright, Sir just learned slow. As I was about to say, you go behind Shalinda here. And if you're a Cohen, I say you have plenty of level 1 key spheres. Yeah, this is where you get them. I was kind of I, I should have looked forward to my notes a bit more than I would have taken the off road to get the uh, 8 defense for Lulu, but oh, well, like I guess we'll come back to it later on. Alright. No way. Alright, I think there's a new enemy, the uh, old dog creature there, Garm. Yeah, just use Sirik to take him out. <laughs> It'd be easy enough. Alright, and walk in to take out the bite bug. And have Yuna free to take out the uh, last enemy there. Overkill, but that's the point. <laughs> the garden does to you, so usually any creature like that does have a, some sort of status ailment they inflict you with, but he won't get a chance. But if I run into it, you know, during an off-screen battle, then I'll show you, or I'll let you know. <laughs> I won't show you. These guys. Look! One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari. Lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari. Howl alone. Howl alone. <laughs> You know, they aren't very subtle in their threats, you know. Do those two... Uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari would deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. <laughs> I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Ooh. Confident. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, there's a trash chest right here. With an X potion. Alright, so I guess that's all the time I have for this episode. So, the next episode, well, we're about halfway to the moon flow. So, I guess next time we'll make it there. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one. <laughs>